What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. It's Saturday which means we got brand new Ultimate Legends in the game. Along with that, a ton of 99 overall Reduxes have been added. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the video and talk about today's content. We're going to start with the Ultimate Legend solo challenges. So we are now down to week number 18 I believe it is. And if you've been playing through these solos, you should have been earning Milestone Stars and also Ultimate Legend Tokens which can be traded in for a free ultimate legend actually two free ultimate legends at this point that are both non B and D meaning that you can make some coin off of them and that includes the two new set ultimate legends that came out today they are going to be featured in today's solos Kevin Mawai and Derek Thomas so according to my calculations here you should be at 147 stars if you play through all 18 and it's actually a little bit more than 18 because week number one was broken down into four different parts uh, but you should be able to get all the way to 147 stars and if you take a look 147 stars at this point would get you all the way to tier 23 very close to tier 24 and then along with all of the tokens that you're going to earn from all these milestone rewards each and every week so that's 21 weeks worth of solos you should get 21 ultimate legend tokens because each week when you beat the solos it unlocks a final challenge and then that final challenge gives you your choice of either a lower overall B D ultimate legend card or an additional ultimate legend token you want to take the token every time so i say that to say you should have more than two sets of 64 tokens right now which means you can go ahead and trade them in for a free ultimate legend along with that if you played through the previous competitive pass and reached level 26 some of you may have this 99 overall B and D Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. This is yet another way to go out and get one of today's new cards for free. So if you hung on to this pack, never opened it, and you open it now, it should contain Kevin Mawai and Derek Thomas. We're going to talk about both of those players and why both of them might be worth picking up and adding to your team. And then just to go along with that, we got a brand new competitive pass yesterday. We talked about it in detail. I don't think anybody's going to be that close to this reward, but eventually at level 21 with in this particular field pass uh, you get yet another free 99 overall fantasy pack that gives you an ultimate legend this one non bnd so again you're gonna be able to make some coin but by the time the masses unlock this pack we're gonna have at least one more possibly two more weekends of ultimate legend cards i don't see this promo ending and at least until the end of june going into very early july before college football 25 comes out so lots of opportunity to get today's cards for free let's go ahead and show them to you first one is going to be Derek tom I don't know if EA messed this card up accidentally or on purpose. I'm not quite sure, but if you take a look at the card, he's got the baked in unstoppable force. That's a W. Attributes are great. 96 speed, 98 finesse move, 99 power move, 98 block shed, the strength's at 96, tackle at 98, really good acceleration because it's maxed out at 99. And I want to show you his pass coverage attributes because they're not very good, nor should they be because he's a, rat, a pass rusher. They gave him a power rusher archetype. 58 man coverage, 73 zone coverage. The abilities that they gave him don't really make sense with his archetype and with those pass coverage attributes. Again, unstoppable force as a passive X factor, as an ability for zero AP, huge. This is going to make him already one of the best pass rushers in the game. Then if you go to his discounted buckets, he gets Colossus. I don't think there's any card in the game that's going to get Colossus plus Unstoppable Force together for a total of 1 AP. That combination, I don't know if it's going to be Overkill or if this is going to make him the best pass rusher in the game. Uh, they gave him Edge Threat Elite, which is cool. Again, could be Overkill with Edge Threat Elite, Colossus, and Unstoppable Force, but that's likely the route that I would go with. Bottleneck to me makes literally no sense sense on this card at all like whenever are you going to be having a linebacker that's out there playing press coverage especially with a guy who has terrible pass coverage attributes i feel like ea was like oh the community's using bottleneck bottleneck a lot let's put it on this card now and it just doesn't make sense at all and i'll show you another reason why they did that on this card in a moment lurk artist i'm not mad at because if you want to use him which he's not a bad user you can just never leave him in pass coverage for the ai to control him this one not terrible but i would have loved to see like like a double or nothing here 
tackle supreme secure tackler and he's not going to get those abilities in any other buckets at a discount so if you want tackle supreme you got to pay the three ap for it i'm assuming that secure tackler somewhere back here if we can find it is going to be two ap which on some defenses you might be able to find the room for it. and if you can i would highly recommend that i thought you know what maybe tackle supreme or secure tackler is going to be in the last bucket nope they gave him universal coverage so again just doesn't really make sense to me because he should not be in pass coverage at all i don't know how this card would play maybe on the edge of a 6-1 defense but all in all even despite the really wacky and kind of stupid abilities on this card I still really like it because of the pass rush options there with Colossus, Unstoppable Force, and Edge Threat Elite. Is it worth one of your free picks, whether it's from the competitive pass pack or from the solo challenges? It might be. I don't know. I think the answer is still kind of out there or the question's still out there, but I think I'm going to try this card out tonight. I want to see what the price lands on because I don't want to use my free pick on it, but all in all, I'm very intrigued by this card despite the stupid abilities in a couple of those buckets. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a huge Eagle fan and Jason Kelsey got a tribute card at the center position, I'd probably be rushing to pick up this brand new Kevin Mawai card. I don't know if he's going to be the best center in the game game or the second best center in the game but he gets really really good discounted abilities obviously the attributes are cracked here 99 strength awareness pass block run block he gets a baked in post up which is a pretty good ability for your center but at the end of the day you just want to get that secure tackler sorry secure protector on there and he does get it for zero ap so basically you get to pick two of these abilities uh three of these abilities i should say for zero ap but the one that's very interesting is that they gave him threat detector for one ap which to to me is a must-have ability at this point in the year and to get it for 1 AP is a really really good discount I know the infinite flux Quentin Nelson I think that's the promo that card came from gets this ability I'm pretty sure it's at 1 AP as well no I take that back it's 2 AP on Quentin Nelson so the fact that Kevin Moai gets this for 1 AP is huge you could pair that up with secure protector he gets the post up baked on and then you still have vanguard and you know how people are running around with vanguard these days and now he gets it for one ap jason kelsey gets it as well but i think jason kelsey gets it for three ap so my decision has been made kevin mawai is now be the best center uh, in the game but because of my eagles fandom i just simply can't replace him but if you need a center this is a really good free pick with your ultimate legend tokens and it's absolutely even though the game's almost over this is absolutely a card that you can put on your team and never have to worry about upgrading or changing out uh the center again sean alexander is going to be the third ultimate legend that dropped today in ltd and unfortunately the card for whatever reason is not in the catalog he's in packs and he's on the auction house and going for the low price of 2.27 million coins so from what i'm seeing on twitter because the information is not on mutt.gg just yet but what i'm seeing is that he does get anger runs treated as an ability so a passive x factor for one ap he also gets truss now i don't know if you can put those two together but truss is going to stop him from fumbling obviously angry runs is going to break a ton of tackles that's the meta right now for your running backs and he's also getting evasive for zero ap so he's going to be up there as one of the best running backs in the game but to me i wouldn't be paying that many coins not when there's so many other options out there they get angry runs especially with Walter Payton being out there. And I'll be honest, the Arian Foster card that came out a couple days ago, I've been trying and using that card the, the, over the last two days. Very, very good running back. So this card to me, very good, but I'm not paying that much coin for it. Not when there's a ton of other options out there. Couple different pack offers to go through. As we mentioned in the beginning, we do have new Redux cards that are out there and there is a pack for them, which means they shouldn't be extremely hard to find. Normally when Reduxes come out, they don't put a pack offer in the game until a couple days later. So there's that weird period where you just can't find any of the cards that got Redux. So for $25, you're gonna get your choice one of three 98 plus redux cards and then a second slot within that pack gives you one of three 97 plus redux cards here is the list according to mutt.gg of all the 99 overall cards that got redux it looks like it's a big collection of weekly wild cards draft cards i think there's some akas and ultimate legends in there as well so you can scroll through the list and see yourself infinite flux because of the Donald Parham. The only ones that I'm not seeing in there are Real Deals LTDs, which are older than some of these other cards, so I'm not quite sure exactly why EA made that move, but you can see these are all the cards, uh, and then there's two more Larry Fitzgerald.
Fitzgerald and Lamar Jackson, who is still one of the best quarterbacks in the game. So I'm curious to see where that price lands on his Redux card, because that's one that a lot of people are still out there using. And if his Redux becomes cheap, well, then you have a cheap option there at quarterback. So I'm probably not going to open up this pack. There is a UL Opportunity Pack for $25 as well. Gives you the chance at today's LTD with some Ultimate Legend set pieces. And I'm guessing potentially to pull one of the 99 overall champions that came out today. There's a $100 bundle. The cards are not good enough. It's June 15th. Please don't open this one up. Uh, and I think that's really it. So all in all, good list of Redux cards. Happy that there's a pack in store for the people that are going to spend money. It's going to make those cards cheaper for everybody else. And I will be dropping a video very soon later this afternoon because there's kind of a big market crash going on right now. We're going to cover all of the best best cards that are really dirt cheap right now really affordable for you guys to upgrade your squad and not have to spend a ton of coins so that video is going to be on the way and the two set ultimate legends look pretty good to me with the exception of Derek thomas having some weird not usable abilities for his skill set but all in all pretty good content drop thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace